Hey everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I am back with one of my favorite bright pink packages from Eureka Crystal Beads. This is one of their collections that they release periodically, full of a mix of assorted types of Czech glass, crystals, findings, and all sorts of things that coordinate along with a very special theme that also coordinates with a certain color palette. This one is called the Destination Beads Collection. I have no idea what's inside, so I cannot wait to share it with you. Just a reminder, these are not a subscription. You can pick these up individually however you like, and they still have some of the past collections available on their site as well. I'll be sure to link directly to this one right down below the video and to their main page where you can check out all of the collections that they still have available for purchase. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this package. And here is the picture to go along with our Destination Beads theme. So we'll keep that in mind as we're taking a look at everything up close. Here is a sneak peek of our bundle of beads and everything that we're going to be taking a look at. And our theme information right here, which says basically be inspired by the sights and sounds of new places that will refresh your spirit and come back home with cherished memories and maybe a nice tan too. We can open this up and see that this contains the list of everything that's included in our collection, as well as the SKU or SKU numbers, which you can put into their search bar and you can find out more information about the color names of everything, for example. We're gonna see a mix of seed beads, Czech glass beads, Preciosa, Chinese, and Krakowski crystal, as well as a whole bunch of findings. And you get a discounted rate when purchasing these together as a collection, as opposed to picking everything up separately. But of course, you're welcome to pick and choose these items. Picking up products separately, they've got everything listed individually on the actual collections page, if you're curious. And it's possible over time, the specific colors and contents could vary just slightly depending on stock levels and availability. So that's why they haven't listed the specific color names on this insert, but you can easily find that on their site. Let's begin with the very first section of seed beads, which should set the tone for our color palette for this collection. I'm gonna get organized, then we'll take a close look at everything one at a time. In container number one, we have an entire tube of Toho size eight round seed beads. This is kind of a neutral sort of camel color, just a little bit of transparency there in this sort of milky glass. Our second tube is a classic. This is a tube of Toho round size 15 o seed beads in a bright golden metallic color. Number three is a tube of Toho 11O Demi Round Seed Beads. So these are like a round 11O, just maybe cut in half so they're a bit thinner. And this is in a classic jet black, glossy, opaque glass. Our next tube contains some Toho Treasures. These are the 11O size, and this is another two and a half inch tube and what looks to be an opaque black or jet with that glossy finish. And these you can use in place of Miyuki Delica beads. They have that cylindrical, very, very uniform shape, great for brick stitch, peyote stitch, bezeling, and all sorts of things. Next is container number five. This one contains the Toho Takumi 11 OC beads. This is another two and a half inch tube. And these have that really special luster-like finish and overall have a very light, creamy color tone. Container number six is holding the Miyuki Round 11 O seed beads. This is 10 grams of those in this bronze, metallic, or sort of an antique gold. Another great neutral to go along with this palette. We're going to see a lot of neutrals, I think, and then some different pops of like leafy green and maybe a little bit of yellow. 
And then last in our seed bead section, these are the Miyuki Long Magatama beads. There's 10 grams in this tube. And this is that, what they call, I believe, canary yellow with the Picasso finish. Kind of a neutral overall and stone-like with that extra finish that they have over the top. And if you're looking for a project to do with these, I have a very simple and easy macrame tutorial using this exact shape. And they come out looking really cool and leafy. And it's one of my favorites, actually. Starting out in our check glass bead section, we have another tube, this time containing a selection of Super Duo beads. These are a two hole shape and they're in this sort of marigold color. It's frosty, so they have like a matte finish and that gives us a little bit of a pop of that yellow color to work with. And our next tube contains the two hole bar beads. We have another two and a half inch tube of these in that more rustic finish with that tan color in the background and some of those more honey caramel drizzled tones over the top and have that lustrous shiny coating. I figured I'd take some of these out so you could see these bar beads in case you're not familiar with this particular shape. It's another two hole bead in this oblong shape with the rounded edges and those holes going right through the face. And along similar lines, we have also a two and a half inch tube of the three hole beam beads, also in our check glass section, this time in more of an opaque white with a glossy shine. And here's a closer look at these beam beads. So they are very similar to the bars. They're just larger and have that additional third hole. And I'm sure there will be projects to come using some of these unique shapes if you're not familiar with them. Our final item in the check glass section is this bag containing the fire polished two millimeter check glass faceted round beads. This is a strand of 50. So we have these very tiny little faceted rounds with another mix of neutral tones, just slightly variegated, giving us that stone like appearance and yet another size of bead to work with, which is always helpful when putting things together directly from these collections. And one of the other reasons I love these collections, because you get a wide assortment of all sorts of things you need to put together so many different types of projects. We're going to take a look at some sparkle with some crystals next and we have some preciosa crystal bicones these are a four millimeter size and it's a pack of 48 very beautiful reflective gold and here's a look at them out of the bag you can see how shiny they are and beautifully faceted and uniform these sizes are such a great item to work with. I love the Preciosa brand, just like I enjoyed working with the Swarovski brand. These have that really high quality feel. Next, we have our Chinese crystal section, which contains three very long strands, ranging between like 125 to 190 pieces of these three by two millimeter faceted crystal rondelle beads. And you can see that I have a mix of this sort of minty turquoise greenish tone. We have a beautiful gold that seems to be a mixture of crystal on one part and more of an opaque on the other. And then we have our jet black. And with so many beads on these strands, they're great to incorporate and a perfect size and give us a lot of sparkle. And up next, we have our Krakowski crystal section. This is Eureka's brand of crystals and pearls, which I love working with as well. And first, we're going to take a look at two 13 by 18 millimeter crystal teardrops. Aren't these absolutely stunning? And a perfect addition, I think, to this palette. We get a lot of that gold and even a little bit of yellow showing up in these stones with lots of reflectiveness and shimmer. These have a beautiful high quality white enameling on the back and you can use these two if you want to in a coordinating pair of earrings perhaps or as maybe a pendant to go along with the next items which are the smaller 10 by 14 millimeter Krakowski crystal teardrops in the same combination of color and finish. Absolutely beautiful and just sparkle like crazy under the light. 
They've also included two of these Krakowski Crystal Rivoli's in the 14 millimeter round size, and they've got that additional bit of sparkle that you can see kind of coming from within below that coating that is over the top. Just so beautifully reflective and shimmery, just moving these a little bit so you can see all that effect that you get. And again, they have the back that is very much intact and professional looking. To add to that, we also have these two Krakowski Crystal Octagon stones that are 10 by 14 millimeters in size and have the most beautiful, rich emerald green gemstone-like color. And these add another touch of beautiful green to go along with our palette, which contains a lot of neutrals. And then the final bag in that section contains a strand of 135 Krakowski Crystal Round Pearls in the 3mm size in the jet black color. And here's a closer look at those. You can see these are very much intact and have that high quality appearance with the smooth and glossy finish and coating, no chipping or cracking. The Krakowski Pearls are really great to work with too. And we have arrived at our final destination, which is our finding selection. We have a number of golden findings to put together with our lovely beads and crystals, starting with these gorgeous golden shell charms. They are a nine by 19 millimeter size, really pretty light golden tone and so much detail that you can see. They're a little bit different on every side that you look at. They're three-dimensional, which is awesome, and look great from all sides, and they have that loop that's located right at the top. Next, we have a selection of two of the clamshell charms in 14 by 14 millimeter, and these are in a little bit of a brighter gold. Still having a lot of detail to these shell charms, and they are the same on both the front and the back. Next are two of the Tibetan snail shell beads in the 14 millimeter size. These also in a bit of a brighter gold tone. They've got that inset swirly detail and they're very dimensional as well. They are the same on both sides and have a hole that runs right there through the side and up and down the center of these beads. Next are these lovelies. They are the frame link drops, 40 by 27 millimeter. Two of these would make a stunning pair of earrings with their hammered detail. And you can see they've got the three holes at the bottom, the one at the top. You could use these to frame out something dangling from the center as well as adding something dangling off the bottom. And they are both double-sided, so the same on both the front and the back and have a very glossy, golden, and smooth appearance. Also included are a set of two round magnetic clasps, 11 by 6 millimeter, and they are very magnetic to the point where they want to stick to each other, but they are two different clasps and also have that brighter gold appearance, and you just pull those apart right in half, and they're super easy to get on and off. Also included is a toggle clasp, this time in a lighter tone of gold. This is a 20 by 17 millimeter size, and this has a lot of swirly detail and texture to it, but very smooth overall. Next in my hand, I have 23 gauge head pins. It's a pack of 20. They're about 1.18 inches with the ball detail at the bottom that brighter tone of gold. And by the way, all of these were bagged individually. I've taken them out, so it was a little bit easier to show you each of these things without unbagging everything one by one. But you can see we're getting a well-rounded assortment of findings in addition to all the beads and crystals. So this is something else that helps you put together a number of different things from just one collection. We then have a tiara cast button, which is in the shape of a scallop shell. High quality tiara cast, golden tone finding that we can use possibly as a closure or a clasp. Also included are two of these sparkly tiara cast crystal links in brilliance. They're two sided with SS16 crystals. So even flipping this over, you can see that crystal showing up on both of them. So you don't have to worry about them flipping over. They're beautiful from both sides. 
And last but not least, a handy selection of Hishi Spacer beads in the daisy shape by Tierra Cast. These are a four millimeter size and you get a total of 15 of those to work with. So that is everything for another Eureka Crystal Beads collection, this being the Destination collection. And once again, I think they hit it out of the park. All their collections are a little bit different. You're gonna find different color palettes, different themes, but they all follow the same type of rhythm with the high quality Japanese seed bead selection, a high quality selection of Czech glass, sometimes getting multi-hole beads as well, all different types of crystals, whether they're bicones or beads or different stones that you can use as gorgeous vocals, a number of different practical shapes mixed in from rounds to the faceted fire polish to rondelles, and lots of different coordinating findings to put everything together. So I hope you see why I really enjoy these collections. I definitely recommend them, and they have a tendency to sell out. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, you'll want to do that sooner rather than later. I'm not sure. Sometimes they restock these, sometimes they don't. And once again, the link for this will be right down below the video. It'll take you right to it. And you can check out the other collections that they have available at this time, including some designer bundles where you can get more than one at an even more discounted rate. These collections will ship free if you're located in the U.S. And they'll also ship worldwide, though. So it just depends on your location, what the shipping cost will be. And you can find that out at checkout. And as a reminder, these are not a subscription. So you can pick these up as you like. And it's not going to start up any type of monthly or routine type of subscription situation. I can't wait to dive into this collection. As with the other collections, I hope to be able to come back with a unique tutorial sharing something directly from these contents. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed checking out these contents up close. And feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this collection or anything else you'd like to say. And also feel free to share the video with your other beading friends. That is all I have for now. I hope to see you all again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy beading.